Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Well, a card similar to this. This is a 5x7 and I'm going to make my normal 6x4s. Um, this is obviously a birthday card for a daughter. As you can see, it says daughter there. But the one I'm going to make is not going to have that on it. It'll have... It's not going to have this on it either. Because it's not big enough to take it. I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. And it's not going to have that yellow flower on. So I've got to reduce it a bit. And I'll have a different butterfly. So, to get started, the stamp sets I'm going to use are Tasteful Touches, which is the flower and the greenery and that little background stamp there timeless tulips right I'm not stamping the tulips the tulips I'm going to use are left over from the box of tulips I did and these were left over with a couple of red ones so I'm just using them up as I said Edward but they come from the timeless tulips and I'm going to use Peaceful Moments and just the Happy Birthday. The card base I'm using is... Uh, what's this pink called? Petal Pink. 11 and a quarter. Uh, 11 and three quarters by 4 and 1 eighth. Scored in half and burnished. With a piece of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside and I have a piece of white card that is five and seven eighths by three and a half and that's going to go on the outside and like I said I've already got the tulips and the leaves oh hang on I've also got a piece of petal pink that's going to go across there, these trimming off. And this is one and a half by three and a half, it should be. I just haven't cut that. And I've got leaves here from when I did the other ones. I've also got the two pink flowers I'm going to use. So, mainly all we're going to do with the ink today is the blending of stenciling and the background on this bit and the happy birthday and obviously the greenery at the back so let's get started with that now I need a mask I might change the background as well so what one should I use that's the one I used last time I want to change it I might use what have I got? Brick wall. I don't want the trees. I don't want that. Oh, I've got two of them. Three of them. Oh no, that's clouds. And there's I've got two of the same. I think uh Gainer gave me one. So Let's use that one. Can you see which one I'm going to use? Don't need them yet. So, place them underneath. Let's get some scrap paper. Try and keep my paper clean. Right, I've got some smoky slate ink. And my brushes. Right, a lot of people have been asking about these brushes. I have got six of them. I bought two new pink ones. The nettings come when you buy them. I've obviously taken the nettings off the ones I use. Um, this one's a grey one. Uh, yeah, I just put them on just to keep the... Um, brushes together but after a while I don't bother yeah so this is and now I get these from Amazon I bought these two a couple of weeks ago and they were 
eight pound for the two I think I'm not sure um, and they're called foundation brushes now these are better than them flat round brushes which I've also got a set of one because you've got a better grip on them and they won't snap and two if you've got arthritis they're easier to ha hold I haven't got arthritis but a lot of people who've asked me about it you know and I think they're you've got more control over them than the flat round brushes and there isn't a fear of the handle snapping so these are off Amazon and they're foundation brushes and if I remember when I uh, sort the video out and load it on YouTube I'll try and put in the description the link for these I hope that answers some of the questions I keep getting for them right now the best thing to do with this is actually to tape it down let's see if I find some tape where is my got some low ta tape in my box it seems to be about a mile away today I don't know why Load up my brush, stamp off the excess, get ink on my hand, and then just brush over the paper. Trouble with smoky slate is you don't see what's happening until you actually take the mask off because it's such a light ink but we will just keep going for a little while until I think we've got it covered Have a peek. Ooh. Quite like that. Right. There we are. Two, two, one. Nice background. Right wash it afterwards don't need that no more and I don't need this no more oh. another thing when you finish using your brush just brush it off and it cleans dead easily that's it so I could, in theory, use that on another ink. But what I will do is um, keep it for greys. So that's what I want to do eventually. Have Like that's my blues, that's purples, that's reds. That one's pinks. This one's greens. You know, I've got a few more for the colours that I use. And just put that up back on and... The box is not big enough to hold all six. Right. Now then, we need to stamp the greenery. What I did was stamped one there and then off. Stamped one there and then off I think that's all I did 
Maybe did another one like that. That's all I've done for them. That's the green finished, old olive finished. Right, I get my little piece. In fact, let's trim this so I don't waste any more ink, uh, card when I stamp on it. Right, with this and pet up ink, ink, we are just going to stamp randomly over this. And I'm going on my paper. I want to keep it clean for a little while because I am filming more than one card. That's all I've done with that. And then with my black Versafine and my happy birthday. I'm going to stamp that right over to the left. Like that. if I need an extra rub. Right, I think we can put this card together. So, with my card base, I'm going to glue that on there. Looks like I'll have to refill my bottle soon. Now to get this to hit the bottom, just stand it up, make sure it's straight and equal on both sides, which it is, and this is glued flat. some dimensions. Alright, I've got my roses here. I'm going to have them. I'll need to chop the um, um, stems off them. some leaves underneath 
I think that looked nice. So let's chop these stems off. No need for long stems. Now these are all glued flat, so I know I'd use these tulips one day. I said I would. Better than wasting them. This yellow one. Just attach some of these leaves. I'm going to attach that on there. Right, like that, and then these can go there. Don't that look nice? I think it does anyway. Right, I want. Just need dimensionals around the bottom, really. And I'll put some glue on the top. Now the butterflies I've got, I thought I had two. Like that one I think is too big. On my original card I used the old butterfly punch. I thought I brought one of them down. Because I had a few cut out. Obviously not, let me get one. The only one I've got is that one. Oh, that looks alright. 
I like that one. I'll keep that one for another card. So what I'm going to do is just glue this one in place. This card is a butterfly I've covered in glossy accent. I think I did um, some last week. I did a card with butterflies on and I covered them in glossy accent. Right, I'm also going to add some gems. They're going to be gold gems. Two there. And I'm going to put one there. There they are. Just stick this on the inside. I've got three birthdays within two weeks. So this card here is for one of my daughters. I'm not going to say which one because you might watch. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.